Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another glass door review. We've got a very special company that we'll be reviewing today, and it goes by the name of United Therapeutics. Now this is not a CRO. All of the CROs I've done before, I mean all the companies I've done before have been CROs. So this is a sponsor actually, and the reason why I'm doing them now is because they are a sponsor but they run mostly their own trials. So they've got their own clinical team, their own project team and things of that nature. They may just vendor out for specific things that they need. At least that's what I believe looking from, looking from the outside and what I know. Um, but that's, that's true for a lot of sponsors. Sometimes they run their own trials, sometimes they don't. So I'm sure in the past they've used other CROs and worked with other CROs. But this is a good company um, I've known I've known a couple people that have worked for them uh, and you know overall they're well respected and I think we're gonna find out some interesting things about them today but before we go on I want to let you guys know if you're watching this and you're looking to get into the clinical research field we do have something that could really really increase your chances it is our resume review program what you do is you send in your resume we review it we discuss with you how we can improve it we normally do that through a, a video or just commenting on the resume itself. Uh, I'm more partial to the, to the video because we can talk about how we can leverage your strong points in the interview and some of the other strong points. You may not even know some of your strong points because you're new to clinical research. But there are some things that clinical research, researchers and people in the industry generally look for when hiring entry level people. And we could talk about how to accentuate that on your resume and pretty much just make you the best candidate you can be. So if you're interested in that, email us eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. We are also doing interview preparation. So if you've got an interview coming up and you are feeling a little hesitant about it, email us, we'll get you prepared for that. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, I think that a lot of people will see a lot of benefit from that and a lot of confidence. So much of the interview process is just confidence and being able to portray that in the interview and there's no better way to get confidence than to practice with me uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So if you're interested in that, email us at our email address again. So let's go ahead and get back into this United Therapeutics and, uh, review. So this is a sponsor, like I said before, and they're based out of Silver Spring, Maryland. Now they also do have a headquarters in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, but it sounds like their main headquarters is in Maryland. Um, yeah, as you can see here, they got Research Triangle Park uh, listed also. But this is a sponsor, and as you can see, let's see if I can pull this up here. They Their logo, can I pull this up? It doesn't look like I can. Um, but their logo is actually, oh wait, let's see. If you can see here, their logo is actually two lungs, and that's, very very interesting because their whole purpose is respiratory diseases actually with an emphasis on PAH pulmonary arteriolar hypertension that's their whole focus that's their primary therapeutic area so all the drugs and interventions that they bring to the market are based on pulmonary arteriolar hypertension PAH so that's something good to know about them so big company uh, semi-big, 500 to 1,000 employees. They are publicly traded, uh, about a billion to $2 billion in revenue. Uh, let's go here. United Therapeutics is a biotech company focused on the development and commercialization of unique products to address the unmet medical needs of patients with chronic and life-threatening conditions. We have four approved products on the market today, and we are not stopping there. From the United States to Europe to the Asia Pacific, we are proud of our multicultural business environment where employees can collaborate with people all over the world. And this is, and we're gonna talk a little bit about this later on when I show you their website. And I typically don't do that in the Glass Double Reviews, but they've got some interesting stuff on there that I wanna discuss. They are really about this. They are proud of their multicultural business environment. They show that with some of the statements, they back it up. And we'll see through some of these reviews, I think they'll, they really walk the walk. So their mission is, you know, develop the best medicines possible from our intellectual property. Okay, pretty standard. And, you know, just standard other stuff in there. So we're not going to go in there. You've seen it. 
So whenever you see this, visionary culture, wow, that is something. That is something that's really gonna draw your attention when you see visionary culture. But before we get into that, um, we got 3.2 average out of five, that's pretty good. 82% um, approve of CEO, that's good. And look, here's the CEO, Martine A. Rothblatt. Rothblatt. It's not often you see a woman for a CRO, or a CEO of a multi-billion dollar company. So let's go ahead and give them a, let's give our hats off to them for having a woman CEO. I don't think any of the other, no, none of the other companies we reviewed have a woman CEO. And I don't think any of the other companies even had a minority as a CEO. So let's give them a, a you know, our hats go off to them for having a woman as a CEO. Um, they're one of the only ones. So visionary culture. I've been working at United Therapeutics full time more than a year. Pro, my experience at United Therapeutics has been phenomenal and I'm happy to have found a job that truly fulfills me. I have not experienced any true cons to date and honestly all issues are resolved very quickly whenever they arise. So to kind of coincide with that visionary culture, let's go ahead into these photos because I think you'll kind of see some of the visionary culture through the photos. So here, this is their Silver Spring campus and look at these buildings. You can tell a lot about a company by their buildings. And, you know, they spend a lot of money in designing these buildings and building these buildings. So it looks kind of futuristic there, especially with this light going across there. So that's good. Let's see what else. I mean, you see this huge building right here. And wow. Then you got that light like we saw before. You got this. Nice. Super nice. You got this big atrium right here when you walk in this large tree-like structure and lots of glass. So clearly modern. This is the Art Raleigh Triangle Park location. Awesome, and then you've got this. This is the cafe. Really modern, you can see really clean, really nice design there. So, I mean, it looks like they may even serve alcohol there. I, I don't know, I can't see there, but definitely coffee. So, wow, look at that, that's pretty nice. Look, they got Silver Spring. This is they got ping pong, which I love ping pong. Look at, I mean, look at the design in here. They're really about visionary, and I think we're gonna see that time and time again. So, what is this? Lung bioengineering. Okay, they got an on-site fitness center in Maryland. That's awesome. Then they got more of this stuff, these meeting rooms. So, yeah, you can really see that. Research Triangle Park, they got this vertical aquarium. That's awesome. So you can you can see they put a, put a lot of money in that and they really definitely want you to think that they're visionary and have that visionary culture. So let's, let's go into more of these reviews, as we always do. So, great culture. This is just June of 2018. I worked at United Therapeutics full time. Great coworkers, good work-life balance. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, let's go down here. IT leadership, May 2018. I've been working at UT more than a year. Great salary, bonuses, and stock awards. Free food and cafeteria. Now, who doesn't like that? Workplace amenities are top notched. Let's see. Oh, this is Silver Spring. So, if you're planning on working at that location, you can take this. Company mission and overall goals are compendable and unique. But now let's get into the cons because that's where the meat is. IT department is understaffed and overworked. Changing priorities handed down from leadership causes unnecessary team stress, makes team less efficient and burned out. High turnover rate for network engineers and IT director positions. Change control process is slow and limits creativity. Working remote schedule flexibility no longer exists. C-level attitude is there is no work-life balance. We don't work in Europe. That was literally said in a town hall meeting by a high level executive. Okay. So just to say that Europe is actually incredibly efficient. They've done studies on this. Europe is actually incredibly efficient. Uh, people, people like to think, you know, just on face value that, oh, they get so many days off that they don't really work. Well, that's not true. They're just really efficient. And because they get so many days off, they are efficient. Um, 
They have to be efficient. So quick moving innovative biopharma. So this is the second time we've seen something like visionary or innovative. So obviously if we see something more than once, we know, hey, there's something probably true to, with that. So committed to driving research forward and innovative new therapeutic strategies, lack of professional development and upward mobility. Okay, so we got November 2017. Let's see who said this. A lot of anonymous employees. So versus more than five years. So we've got the gym, cafeteria, daycare, parties, inspirational CEO. Management at the VP level is poor. So look at that. They got a quote here for advice. You can buy a man's time. You can buy a man's physical presence at a certain place. You can even buy a measured number of skilled muscular motions per hour a day, but you cannot buy enthusiasm. You cannot buy initiative. You cannot buy loyalty. You cannot buy the devotion of hearts, minds, and souls. You have to earn these things. Uh, so it sounds like, I don't know, they wanted, they wanted them to read that. So I, I don't know what they're trying to say there. It sounds like they're trying to pay people off to stay there for loyalty. Um, all right, so this person, they rated it three out of five, but they got it as a disappointment. So that doesn't really make sense, much sense. Um, so you got Research Triangle Park employee, and they work there full time. So they said, fantastic facilities with amenities, great all-around benefits, smart people, inspirational company admission, huge pipeline, cons. Management is slowly destroying the culture. Companies on the verge of decline. I mean, Sometimes people are just really, really exaggerating in these uh, reviews. And, and that's why you gotta kinda take these with a grain of salt and we wanna see, the, see things multiple times before we say okay and before we brand a company as that. Because typically the people that are gonna do this feel really strongly in either way. Either they hate the place or they are obsessed and love the place. So we've gotta kinda keep that in mind when going through these. Um, departments are extremely siloed and very wasteful. Most managers are not empowered to do anything, just a title. And, you know, we've seen these complaints at other places too, so let's keep going until we see something special. Successful growing company with generous employee perks and benefits, focused on employee development, socially responsible initiatives, and innovative company culture. The pros of working for this company far exceed any cons that may exist but remain unknown to me. So, Another thing I know is that they have a really good benefit structure, and when we go over benefits, we'll go into that. Um, I know they get really, they give really good bonuses, and they pretty much they have good salaries too. I mean, this is a pharma company, so they tend to pay pretty well. And I, I mean, that's probably what the person up up there was saying this, the, in the previous. You know, you can buy a man's time, you can buy this, you can buy that. So it sounds like they do compensate you very well monetarily. So let's move on to this next page here. So this person says, no longer a best place to work. And they're talking, this is the Raleigh RTP location. You will be compensated well. So this is, the, this is like the third or fourth time. And you know I've experienced this from people I know who talk about the compensation too. So if you want to get compensated well, you want to work here. This is, this is what they're telling us. So. Be prepared to work 24-7 as a senior level management. Change killed the previous Google-like culture. Lots of mistrust among staff. Expectation is job comes first before family and PTO. Promotions based on cronyism. HR ignores issues brought to them even when from multiple reliable sources. Managers with, managers with zero experience in managing people. Okay. So it sounds like you're going to get paid well. And, you know... A lot of people talk about promotions being based on cronyism. We get that in a lot of these. So that's why that's one of the reasons why there's so much turnover in clinical research. There's a lot of turnover. Feel like people feel like um, you know they can't move up, they can't get promoted. I think people generally genuinely want to be loyal and stay at a place. I mean, we tend to not like change that much. So people only move when they feel like they have to, when they feel stuck. And if you feel stuck, that's when you're going to move. So when people say, you know, promotions are based on cronyism, not based on performance, you know, people are going to move. And that's why you get a lot of turnover, because people are willing to offer you a lot more money to go elsewhere. And, it's, and you know, it seems like, hey, I, 
you know, I can deal with this for another one to two years and then maybe move again. So this person says horrible place to work. Let's see what they say. The company's mission is inspiring. The buildings are sunny and clean. The company spends a lot of money that could be spent helping patients by throwing extravagant parties, serving free coffee and subsidizing gourmet meals. Every single member of management from VP level and above lack interpersonal skills, may be questionable decisions and have limited skill sets. They model unfavorable behaviors by belittling and even mocking their employees. They provide little to no direction and have no managerial skills and general, generally make everyone's life miserable. If you don't fit the mold or play their games, you will be forced out. Most of the good, competent people have left or have been forced to leave. I am shocked that well-paid adult professionals are allowed to behave as they do. Management makes or breaks the success of a company, so if continued to run unchecked, this company will have no future. Okay, so let's see what else. Disappointing. I've been working at United Therapeutics full time, free coffee, on site gym, management, if you are actually able to use it, huh? Management is inconsistent and inconsiderate. They pick the picture of flexibility that the company portrays is a farce. Management will scold you if you have to work remotely, even when you have a sick child at home. Expect you to work on all major holidays, even Christmas. This should have been disclosed during the interview process. So now they're talking about the managers. So we've seen a lot of reviews based on, on these managers. So let's see what this one says. So everyone talks about the pay, amenities, parties, vacation, insurance. Management is a joke. People with same title not doing the same job and are not even capable or didn't even meet the requirements of doing the described job. So supervisor makes up job description to suit them because they can't get it. If you can't do the job, you should not be in that position. I agree. I have never worked for a company that changed the job description because the person could not perform the job that they hi were hired for. Uh, where I, I lost my place. Please, please tell me how does that happen? This is how, because they are letting slackers be slack while overworking the people that can do the job. How are you going to justify raises and bonuses based on job performance when they can't even perform the job? That is the description that they were hired for. If you want a certain person to be hired to do a certain thing, hire for that and give them that title instead of the same title as others in the group. And they don't do half or any of what others do and you make the job description to fit only what they do, which is not nothing, some made up shenanigan. Okay, this person sounds mad. To keep them looking busy while they walk around doing absolutely nothing. This is not the same company when I came on. It has done a complete 360 which means that it's literally going the same direction. So they mean 180. I don't look forward to coming to work as I once did in the past. So advice to management. Stop hiring your friends and people and use, you use to work with if they cannot perform the job. HR needs to step up and hold people accountable for these hires. Make sure when raises or bonuses are given out, they are not just given out and the people actually earned it and not just getting it because we are trying to treat everyone fair even if they don't pull their weight off the team. Woo, so some harsh words from this person. Wow. But once again, we see pay, party, vacation, amenities is great. So if you're into that, which I think a lot of people are, that's a good place. But it sounds like management could be better. Could be better. So let's see what else we got. Uh, I worked at UT, at UT full time for more than five years. Great benefits, nice RTP facilities, innovative scientific projects. Pro cons: products at end of life cycle, pipeline not strong outside of PAH, commercial environment a bit mistrustful, feeling need to always check your back. Okay. So let's let's do one more of these and then we can move on. So. Work for passion. I've been working at UT for more than a year. United Therapeutics is a great company with a unique atmosphere. Everyone is welcoming and the job is exciting. Also, the benefits are off the charts in a good way. Lastly, the nature of the work is altruistic. This makes me excited to show up to work every day. The job titles are a little weird. Okay, excellent. So now let's move over to salaries. So they've been talking about the pay is great. Let's see what it is. 
and they've only got 126 here, so let's see. So we've got intern, 15 bucks an hour, that's pretty good. Director, 160,000 an hour, it's pretty good. I'm not as I'm not as familiar with these other ones, finance, program analyst, but I see a lot of them in the mid six figures and above, so that's a good sign. I don't think we've seen them that high other places. Oh, um, contract 57, 68, 53, 50, 61, 77, 52. Manufacturing coordinator is 23 to 25. Maintenance mechanic. 50 to 55, that's good. CRA is 69 to 76, that's good. Manager level drug safety, MSL 133 to 145. So one thing I am no, okay, they got drug safety associate, which is 43 to 47. One thing I'm noticing, which is always good, is when you don't see many positions in the 40s. So most of these positions are 50 and above, which is good. Which is good, they're not lying. Um, so let's see, we saw one for CRA, which was, what was it, in the 60, oh yeah, 69 to 76. That's good if that's a CRA one, that's really good. That's really good. Let's see what else we got here. Manager, clinical, see, I don't know what clinical is. Operations, I don't know what that is. Medical director, 176 to 192, that's really good. Okay, we got another one, drug safety associate, help desk support manager, man. Help desk support manager is a six figure salary, that's good. Clinical research, 65 to 69, that's good. I mean, I don't even know what that is, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it just looks good. Um, I don't know if they are talking about CRA, Clinical Research Associate, but um, now they even got a biologist intern at 47 to 50K. Wow. So it's safe to say, guys, senior accounts payable specialist, it's safe to say, guys, they pay really good over here, okay? CRA 2, 98 to 107, that's exactly where we want to be. That is exactly where you want to be as a CRA too. 98 to 107. We've talked about it before. If you watch the other Glassdoor reviews, guys, as a CRA two, you want to be in the 90 to six figure salary range. Now, as a CRA three or a senior CRA, you want to be, uh, you know, 110 and above. 110 up to 130, I've seen, but that's where you want to be. So, CRA two, you want to be just under six figures or six figures. That's how you know you're in a good place. So, okay, we've got that. Now let's move over to the interview process. Now I know because I've read this before that, so basically they have a pretty standard interview process. What you do is a lot of people applied online. So you apply online, then a recruiter will reach out and they'll do a recruiter screen. And a recruiter screen, their recru a recruiter screens are pretty laid back usually but theirs are more like an interview. So that's a preliminary interview. And they're gonna ask you, you know, the usual questions like, why are you interested in the company? What have you heard about the company? Uh, you know, why, what's wrong with your company? Why are you trying to leave and go to their company? You know, those typical questions. And, you know, that's gonna be about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And they've got this in here too. Uh, and then the next step is a Skype interview. So you're gonna Skype with the hiring manager. And that's gonna be about 30 minutes to 45 minutes also. And then the next step after that, they do a three-step process. Then you're gonna go into for the face-to-face -face interview. And it may depend if you're a CRA, you might do remote just on Skype again with the hiring team. But if you are you know, in one of the locations where the office is, then you are going to be in a face-to-face -face situation and you're gonna meet with like two or three people back to back. And then that's it. So here we go, here's a senior CRA. Applied online, the process took two plus months. I interviewed at UT in Raleigh on April 2016. So had a quick 10 minute phone screen with HR followed by a much more in-depth 45 minute phone interview with the hiring manager. 
in the on-site met with several different people throughout the day, sometimes one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes two-on-one, -on -one, and went over resume and experiences. Typical interview questions, some behavioral questions, very friendly people, took a tour of the facilities and had lunch. Plenty of time to ask questions. So that sounds really good. That sounds about right. Mm, so this person, they're talking about a bad experience they had with a recruiter. I'm not going to read all this, but basically they, the recruiter forgot to call them back. So, all right. Applied online. The process took one day. Interviewed in Durham. Submitted the resume online through the company website. In about a week, heard from the HR team for a pre-interview phone screen. Then they had a panel interview, looks like face-to-face, -face, with three persons from various departments. After the panel interview, a one-on-one -on -one interview with the hiring manager and a tour of the facility. Then they received a verbal offer. Minimal negotiation. Then they received the written offer. Okay, very smooth, very simple. So what else we got? Applied online and received a request from a recruiter several months later for a phone screen. The recruiter was pleasant and enthusiastic during the call, and it seemed like a good fit. Was told to expect to set up a round of interviews at the end of the week. After hearing nothing for a week, I followed up by email and phone several times with zero response from their end. A month and a half later, I received an automated response thanking me for applying and saying they were moving forward with the other candidates. Okay. So this is the last one we'll read. Applied online, first call with HR, moved me forward for a call with hiring manager. Face-to-face -face interview approximately three weeks later. Moved fast through interview timeline. Great communication throughout the entire process. Staff seemed very proud of you working here. I did not accept position as I had an offer. Wait a minute. They just, they said they accepted the offer, but they said they accepted the offer here. Okay, I did not accept position as I had an offer from another company that was a better fit. People here seem genuinely happy. So, okay, so you guys get the, I just explained the process. So typically HR screen, then you meet with the manager and then you go in face to face. And then, and then the HR, then the, you, when you meet with the manager, that's gonna be Skype typically. So that's what you can expect, guys. So now let's go into the benefits. So they got 13 ratings, 4.4 out of five. That sounds good. So they offer maternity and paternity leave. That's excellent. Low cost to employee and low deductible. So large PPO network and out of network benefits available. Uh, generous amount of company holidays and paid time off. Awesome. Free cafeteria, on-site gym, and PTO. Great bonuses for all employees, generous annual merit increases, and excellent stock options. So I've heard a lot about those merit increases. I've heard up to 20%. You get up to 20% bonus every year. So that's excellent. They say the benefits package is extremely generous. It includes short and long-term disability, as well as life insurances at no cost to the employee. They offer annual cash and stock bonuses and the opportunity to receive annual pay increases. Wow. Good 401k with match, paid time off, flexible hours, on-site gym and pool. So the facility in the RTP location, the facility has cafeteria, daycare, gym, and pool. Benefits are good, especially the 401k match. Wow. Wow. Uh, plenty of PTO and very gener generous 401k matching. Many office perks only available for people in Silver Spring or North Carolina offices. So, wow. All right. The package is very comprehensive and has to be one of the top packages in the industry, hands down. Let's go over here. So, we talk. So, you I mean, you here you guys see it, guys. A lot of. Good benefits here. Oh, everyone talking about the benefits. Let's see. Okay, here's some negatives. But this is 2015. Some people are very lazy and just come in to get a paycheck, while others have to work very hard to pick up the slack. Great gym and free coffee in the morning and afternoons. 
good food, nice environment, nice people. They said all them good things, but only got three stars. So, all right. So we did all this stuff here on Glassdoor, but I want to go over here and talk about some of their stuff. So on some of the other websites, we don't see this, but in North Carolina, I don't know if you guys will remember, but it was a kind of a big hoopla in the United States, how North Carolina introduced this HB2 bill. The HB2 bill in North Carolina. Basically, I think this was the bathroom bill. Uh, this was the bathroom transgender bill that was a big deal in North Carolina. And basically, uh, you know, it was very controversial. But anyway, this company came out against the HB2 bill. And a lot of companies were hesitant to do that because people thought people didn't want to alienate any of their customer bases, whether they're on the left or on the right. And we're not going to get into too much politics today, but they do have a this company does take a stand on social issues and social responsibility. So, I know a lot of people felt like that with the HB2 bill, you were being, they were discriminating against the LGBT community, and a lot of people were in, you know, against this bill. And so, this company, Unite Therapeutics, took a stand against this bill. So, if that's something you believe in, you want a company that exhibits social responsibility and is on the right side of, you know, these issues, especially in an environment where companies oftentimes do not want to take a stand on social issues then this could be a great place for you. And I wanted to bring that up because none of the other companies that I reviewed thus far have any kind of social responsibility page on their website that's easy to find or have made a statement for or against any of the social issues of today's uh, environment. So if, if you think I'm wrong, if, if people have recently come out and said stuff like that, then feel free to comment down below in the video. But hey guys, here it is. And I mean, this is what they're talking about when they talk about innovative. I mean, they've got some of the best packages, compensation packages. They, it sounds like they've got two great campuses. Um, they've got great products. They've got, I mean, they, they do the social responsibility aspect. So, wow, guys, I mean, you really you really saw it here today. They're, they are pretty innovative. And, you know, just to br branch out, I mean, their, their website's pretty easy to, to review. So they got all this, they got all this stuff here. Very simple. They've got a few products here. Uh, what's this? A PDE5 inhibitor. And like I said before, all their stuff is PAH respiratory. So also, if you're looking for respiratory or if you've got respiratory experience, this could be a great place for you. Great place for you if you want to specialize in respiratory. Remodulin. So they list all their drugs that they have come up with here too. Once again, this is a sponsor. This is not a CRO. So not going to go too much in there. They got their careers, investors, patients. So overall, pretty good company. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with them. And I think a lot of people are happy with them too. Once again, they only got 82 reviews. So that means I think general, generally that's pretty good because, uh, because they are a fairly nice sized company when it comes to the, when it, when it com comes to comparing against the other CROs. But typically people that respond on here feel very strongly in one way or very strongly in the opposite way. And if you only got 82, that probably means you're doing something good uh, in the long run, you, even though that may not make sense. But I feel like that means people aren't feeling too strongly negatively and maybe not too strongly positive. But as you can see, the overwhelming majority of the reviews are positive, especially on the benefits packages, especially, you know, just reading through the, the comments there. So if you guys have any other questions about United Therapeutics or if you want me to review any other pharma company or CRO, comment down below in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe to the channel for more. And as always, guys, email me eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. You know, we've got a phone number here too. You want to talk to me, maybe ask about your resume, maybe book some coaching. You can call or text at 910-502-3732. All right, guys, take care.